It's not easy being me We'll wash your face and brush your hair We'll nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry Sometime we're school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Nah, 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 nay The purple hand gang rules, okay Well, it's so easy being me I'm horrid Henry This week. I forgot my trunks. No way! You did that last time and the time before. Hmm. Okay then. Time for plan B. Oh no, Ralph! You're right! Look, there's a mountain lion right there! Uh, 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 what? No way! No way! I say! This is not a mountain lion's natural habitat. Oh, it could have escaped from a zoo. Hmm, good point. There's no mountain lion. Are you having a laugh, Henry? No, look, it's on this side. <laughs> oh, it's still not there, Henry. You were too slow. It's gone. <gasps> Great day! Soggy Sid had to cancel the lesson because nobody had their swimming costumes. <laughs> Ralph, you're really pathetic. Oh, yeah? Well, this will really scare you. The school rang my mum. We've got an extra swimming lesson tomorrow. Tomorrow? And we're doing our badges. <laughs> Five point five. Ten past eight, Henry. Time for school. Swimming today. Keep this to yourself, Andrew. A shark just escaped from the aquarium. 
Helium. A shark? Yes, a super intelligent mutant shark. And it's headed this way, so stay alert. Oh, Henry says there might be a sh sh shark in our pool. Sharks are saltwater creatures. They don't like chlorine. I don't like chlorine, but I still swim in it. Hmm, good point. <laughs> That's not even as good as the werewolf. I'm just warming up. <laughs> I'm going for my 1,000 metres today. <laughs> right, you lot. Get in the pool. Henry, don't tell me. Sorry, sir. I can't swim today because... Enough excuses, Henry, you horrible child. I don't care if you've got a slight touch of leprosy or bubonic plague. You're swimming today. Get changed now. I'd oh, love to, sir, but uh, unfortunately I've forgotten my trunks. Spare costumes. Put one on. I can't wear any of these. I won't. Get changed. I've got to swim five whole metres without drowning. Henry? Henry! <laughs> He's scared of the water. Of course I'm not scared. I... I love the water. Watch this. Henry, swim. Do you really want to be the only one in the class who hasn't got his five metre badge? You should make Henry a special badge, sir, in the shape of a drowning chicken. <laughs> right. Swim, 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 swim. There, five metres. Easy. Can I get out now? Henry, how stupid do you think I am? Uh, is that a trick question? I said swim, not walk. <laughs> to the shallow end and practice. You're not getting out of this pool till you've got your five metre badge. The shallow end? The big fat loser's end, they should call it. What's wrong with you? I'm just so happy to be learning to swim. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, so sorry. I wasn't looking. I was looking out for, you know... The shark. The shark? Eureka! That's it! Andrew, about the shark! Latest news! It escaped into the sewage system! <gasps> no! Yes! So it'll probably swim up that big pipe and end up here, hiding in the deep end! No! Yes! Don't tell anyone! Line up, everyone! Can't I even tell William? OK, I know William can keep a secret. For about five seconds. <laughs> Come on, it's badge day. Why isn't anyone swimming? We don't want to swim. Or be eaten by sharks. Eaten by sharks? If you don't get back in the pool and swim, I'll bite you myself. I mean it. Swim! I told them it was a ridiculous rumour, sir. Has anyone seen my other flipper? Start swimming now! And look out for the shark! Henry, stop it. No one believes a shark in the water. No? What's that then? Eek! A shark! 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 Henry! Get out! Henry! It's coming! It's right behind you! What? It's not. Uh, uh, and... ah, shark! Ah! <laughs> shark! <laughs> Can I have your?
your pocket money now, or shall I wait till we're on the bus? Hey, Rolf. You meet Henry Swim. Nice one. Double detention for impersonating a shark. Congratulations, Henry. You're the only one who got their badge. Not only did you swim five metres, but I think you swam it in the fastest time ever seen in this country. Olympics! Here I come! Henry? Henry! Did I just say, Henry? Um, uh, school will be closed tomorrow, miss, so everyone can stay at home all day watching telly and eating sweets. No! I said that tomorrow is sports day. What? Provided it doesn't rain, of course. Sports day? No! Oh, no, you're not. You're going to bed. Both of you. Come on, hurry up. It's sports day tomorrow. What if it rains? Oh, I hate sports day. It's pointless. And you have to wear shorts. Breakfast ready. And... I never win anything. Henry! Uh, <laughs> I hate butterflies too. Oh, I'm so proud of my little athlete. I just know you're going to win that egg and spoon trophy again. Oh, oh, oh. oh poor Henry! Oh. I don't think I can go to school today, Mum. I've got the most terrible tummy ache. I think I might have to go to hospital. Oh dear. I hope they won't need to operate. Operate? <laughs> haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. Huh? And don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts, it's how you play the game. <laughs> Peter, your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible. Not if you've got the willpower. Oh yeah. Mmm. This yummy gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy gummy. Oh, they're my fave. Mmm. Are you sure you won't have one? Begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I um, um Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up! It's about to start. On your marks. I'm in charge. 
hard, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. This way! No! This way! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, this is more like it! Henry! Win. That's it! This race is cancelled! Oh, and Henry, you horrid child! If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong! You are here all day! The rest of you follow me! <sighs> You'll pay for this, Henry! That's the trouble with sports day brings out the worst in people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> Ready, get set, go! Until I find out who brought those eggs! I can't tell a lie, Miss Battleaxe. Well? It was Peter. Everybody take your places for the last race of the day! The 400 metres! I'm gonna beat you this time, Henry! Who cares? It's just a stupid race. That's your problem, Henry. You don't care about anything, which is why you never win. That's not true! On your marks! And the overall winner of every single thing in the entire world is... Henry! Get set! Hey, Henry. I bet you you lost Gummy Fuzzball I win. Fuzzball? Fuzzball? Oh my god! That's it! Sweets! Oh! Hey! Anybody want a sweet? Sweets! Trophy. That's the egg and spoon one. <gasps> you took it. The race was cancelled. Why would they need it? It's yours. Oh. For two weeks' pocket money. Uh, uh, deal. Peter, I knew you'd win again. <clears throat> Henry. Oh, Henry. <clears throat> Well done, the pair of you. Like Peter.
you said, it's not the winning that counts, it's how you play the game. so we can bury it. Bury it? Yes. We're making a time capsule. A time capsule? What's that? None of your business, worm. Henry! You put something in a time capsule and bury it so that when someone in the future finds it, they'll know all about you. Why don't you take one of your other toys? No! I don't want to give anything else away. I want to take my slime in. Oh, I would take in a book of poems. Oh, what a lovely idea, Peter. You are a good boy. <coughs> don't be horrid, Henry. Now go and get dressed. And Henry, you are not taking that slime into school. You'll have to find something else for your time capsule. <coughs> Henry! Hurry up! We're going to be late! Psst. Bye, Bunny. Be good today. Ugh, stupid Bunny! Come on, Henry! Come on, Bunny! You're coming with me! Here is our time capsule. Who will be the first to put something special in it? Margaret? Oh, football boots, because I'm really good at football. Very good, Margaret. Um, my biggest encyclopedia. My favourite toy car. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Henry, I'm sure you've forgotten to bring something in, as usual. No, miss. I've brought something. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Thank you, Henry. That will do. Uh, now would be good, Henry. Follow me, class. Carries a message to the future. Margaret smells. <laughs> Ow! Quiet, please, class. Let the hole be dug. Inside, everyone, now. Bury it when the rain stops. What is it, Henry? Can I have my pocket money now, Dad? Uh, yes. In a moment. Dad! Oh, what is it now? I can't find Bunny anywhere! <laughs> what have you done now, Henry? Me? Bunny's gone! I'll never see him again! <laughs> Come on, Peter. I'm sure he's somewhere. Let's go and look for him. Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. This will take forever, unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? 
I don't know. We're gonna be rich! <laughs> I'm gonna buy every chocolate bar in the world! I want my own gym. Hey, Bert! Found anything? I don't know. Henry! There's something down here. I'm gonna buy a yacht, too! It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want bunny back. Henry, you have got to find bunny or else. I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules. Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward. I bet they were boys. Miss! Henry, no! Miss! We mustn't give in to these hooligans! Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show that we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry, have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes. Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. Henry? You're the time capsule thief! No! Well, yes. Oh, this is a bit embarrassing. Um, I, uh, I like to keep a souvenir of all the children who pass through my school. Did you dig up all the other boxes as well? Yes. Everything's in my attic at home. It's my way of remembering you all. Couldn't you just take a photo of us? Look, Henry, if anyone were to find out about this, it might, um, hmm, it might be a bit awkward. Henry, do your parents know you're out this late? All right. I won't tell if you won't. Promise? Promise. But I need Bunny back. Of course. Though that means I won't have anything to remember you by. Still, you're probably the one child I've no wish to remember and will probably never forget. I can live with that. Here's Bunny. Bunny! Where have you been? Can I have my pocket money now? Henry, do you know what this is? It's my slime. Uh-oh. It's my slime. Yes, and Miss Battleaxe found it at the scene of a crime. A pack.
Apparently, you organised the trashing of the school gardens. Whoa! And it's going to cost a lot to replant everything. Whoa! So that means no pocket money for you for a very long time. You should practice, Henry, so you don't dance like an elephant. Don't be horrid, Henry! Please, can I go to karate, Mum? Please! N-O spells no, Henry. Now come and try on your costume. A raindrop? You're going to be a raindrop? Yeah. Take up your positions, everyone. Linda, I said everyone. <coughs> Thank you. Now, clouds over there, flowers over there, thunder cloud over there, and raindrops over here. I shouldn't be in the concert. 
Listen to me, Henri. There are no failures in my class. There aren't? No. Everyone has talent if they work hard, and you will be up on that stage with everyone else. Don't you worry. Oh. What am I going to do, Ralph? I haven't got much time left. Maybe the concert will be so bad, no one will notice you. I don't know. Ooh, my tummy feels funny. I can see my mum. We, we are clouds. clouds. We, we are clouds. clouds. We, we will, will be the best clouds, clouds we can be. Come on, everyone. Time to get into your costumes. You saved the day. Hmm. Yes, Henry. Sounds like you did. And guess what, Henry? Yes? 
Madam Tutu has suggested that you go to her class twice a week from now on. Oh, he has so much talent. Today, a flash of lightning. Tomorrow, a, a, a 